Hey guys, I'm LB, and I want to check out a game called The Pedestrian. I found out about it a while back and decided not to watch any videos about it because I wanted to play it myself, as it's a puzzle game. Let's read the description. If you haven't seen it before, The Pedestrian is a 2.5D side-scrolling puzzle platformer that takes an interesting twist on the genre. It's a build-your-own-solution game with a unique art style centered around public signs, e.g. male and female bathroom symbols, elevator symbol, etc. The Pedestrian is set to release in the first quarter of 2017. It will be available on Steam, Mac, and PC. Planning, moving, connecting, adjusting, tweaking, winning. Puzzles are simple. Get from the start to the end. But as they say, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Use creativity to rearrange and connect the signs to create a path to continue your journey. The pedestrian must use his creative ability and puzzle-solving skills to avoid and overcome obstacles in the signs. Alright, well... I've had some trouble capturing this game, so I have played, like, the first 30 seconds or so. But, we are hopefully gonna get it to work this time. Play. Here we go. Now this is working as I intended it to work. So, it starts on this menu screen here, where we can see the pedestrian over here on the right side. We have an elevator, and we've got some sort of TV, I guess. I got a clock, and then we've got these little things here. We click. Check this out. This is our character that we control. We have spacebar to jump, arrow keys, or WASD to control this guy. And as you can see, this is a little sign on the wall, and the camera is actually in this 3D world. That's why it's called 2.5D, because the, the gameplay itself is two-dimensional, but the camera and environment are all three-dimensional. I guess that counts as 2.5D. And look at this transition here. I can stop at any point in the transition and decide to go back and forth. That's really cool. Cool camera work. In this room, we can press F, and now we can move around the rooms, we can connect things as we please by click and drag. You have to hold down the mouse button, and as you can see, the thickness of the line indicates how far you can go with it before it will break, like that. I thought that was- I thought that was pretty cool. And also the distance, like if we move this room right here, and then we walk through here, it's a pretty short path, right? That transition is pretty short. If we move this out of the way, and, uh, make it longer, Let's say... this long, for instance. And then we try walking through it. It's a much longer transition period. I thought that's pretty cool. Also, worth noting is that we don't actually need this room at all, because this little double arrow here indicates where we need to go next. So this room over here, we can just- we can just shove it anywhere. We have a little restricted play area here. But let's go ahead and connect these guys up. And let's play with that. And so now we're transitioning over here to the elevator. Ooh. Does that elevator open multiple times? Let's find out. No, it does not. Alright, it only opens once. Interesting blur effect when stuff's not nearby. Alright, so there's a button here, and I don't actually know how to press it. Apparently just walking up to it works, though. The elevator is moving. It seems. Ah, yes. There we go. So what's in here? Alright, we have more rooms to connect. Also, look at this little TV here. I wonder also, what happens if I hit escape? Hopefully it doesn't exit the game. Oh, whoa! Right there? Really? Is there a TV in every room that works when you hit escape? Well, I can control stuff here. What does- what does all these things do? Ah, I'll mess with those some other day. Maybe when the game's fully released, I'll mess with the menu, but for now, let's just focus on the game. So let's see. What is this trying to show us, exactly? We can pass through dashed lines? Oh. Oh! I know what that's showing us. Let's connect these up real quick. Okay, so these are connected up. Huh. Maybe we want to connect these the other way, actually. Yeah. So you can click on the connections to just clear them. Let's connect them like this. We can actually rearrange these to be more visually appealing if we wanted to. So now like this... Yes, so we can walk on the dashed lines, or we can press it down to fall through them. But we can, we don't jump high enough to go back up, though. Interesting. Also, look at the environment that we're in as well. We've got nice little decorative pencils and wires and stuff. Very interesting environments. Not very detailed, of course, because they're generally blurred out. 
Alright, what do we have here? This is teaching us how to use ladders, I suppose. Oh, the ladders can be connections! Ooh. Oh, and also... What? What is happening here? The way I am dragging this does not make very much sense to me. I, I can't see my mouse when I'm dragging. I just noticed that. Not being able to see my mouse when I drag is, personally, something I'm not a fan of. But let's- let's just do this. We'll do thing- keep things simple. How is this? Okay. It was- it was selecting the right one for some reason instead of the left. Alright, let's try that. So we can climb down the ladder, and end up here, right? Yeah, exactly. Can't go back up, though. Alright, on to the next. Oh, I need to keep holding- need to keep holding the direction key in order for the transition to work properly, because we can go back. Oh yeah, you can see a little question mark of where I theoretically am, according to the camera. Alright, let's see, where do we want to go here? So we want to get to the exit, but that require the only way to get into the exit room is through a ladder. So we need to get to a ladder that we can actually reach. I wonder... Do we even need this room at all? I don't know if we need that room at all. Let's- let's try it without this room. Alright, so now we're here. Let's connect this up here. Oh, it resets everything! So I can't go to one room and adjust the puzzle, and then... okay. Interesting. Alright, well let's do it this way then. Maybe we do need this room. Alright, comes through here, and let's get out of here. So I do want to try that one more time, so if I remove this kitchen- yeah, it resets you. Interesting. Well that- that complicates things significantly. Or... Maybe makes them simpler, I don't know. I wonder if there'll ever be times where we can adjust rooms while we're in the middle of things. What is going on here? Can't- can't do anything here? Look at this background scenery, that is nice! Cool. Okay, so we can- we can go up through here. And what- what's up next? A key! Lock and key mechanism. Oh, there's E. Okay, so we've been using F to toggle the room changing thing, but now we can use E to do stuff. E. Hey! Hey, we can put it down wherever we want. That's interesting. Why would we want to just put it down somewhere? Huh. So that- okay, that uses the key. I didn't even have to press E there. I just walk up to the door with the key in my hand. Interesting. Where does this take me? Over here somewhere. Look at this, we can actually get different angles on things. There's like a room with lights over there, which is over here, right? Ah, yes. Interesting that we can get different angles by the way the transition camera works. Alright, let's see. We have a key down there. It looks like these are kind of almost laid out already solved for us. Almost. Ooh, hang on a sec. No. We actually want to... do this, because we need the key first. What? What causes this outline to happen? Does that- is that blinking because they can't be overlapping, I guess? Probably. Oh, I just noticed a shadow! That's cool, there's a shadow on the railing behind here. Alright, so let's do this. Can't do that, actually. Alright, we'll do this instead. And then... we'll do this. And then, we'll do this. There we go, that should work. So we come down this ladder. Get the key. Walk through this door, unlock this door, jump up here, and climb to the exit. There we go! That was weird, did you see the- the rendering bug out there? Oh yeah, that- that's uh... Haha! <laughs> that needs a little bit of work, right there, I'd say. Huh. I guess it's because I exited the screen so far to the right. Alright, let's see, what do we have here? We've got a key up there. What should we do here? So if we want to get that key, we can't jump high enough to reach it. What about... Let's move these out of the way. Yeah, we could do- we could do this pretty easily. So let's connect these there, connect these here, connect these here, and 
That should- that should work just fine, actually. Wait, no, hang on a sec. No, 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 no. We can't reach that ladder. What am I thinking? Let me... Let me move these... Like this. Will this reach? It will reach. There we go. That should work. Okay. So we go up to here, go down the ladder, and then go across here, grab the key, and we're done. Go down here, walk through the door, walk through the exit. What next? I like that transition through the- the fence. Let's see that again. Look at this. Right through the fence. Cool. Nothing much here, I guess. Just a little transition area. Alright. Wow, we're really far away here. Can't modify any rooms here. What is this little thing in the background telling us about? Or is it just decorative? I'm guessing these will kill us, right? Probably. So let's- let's, uh, let's fall here. This little background animation is cute. What's going on there? Is that just a distraction? Doesn't seem to be very relevant to what we're doing. Alright, well let's continue onward. This room, not really sure what the point of that was, other than to show us that there's deadly things, I suppose. Alright, what are we working with here? Ooh, I like that zoom out. That's cool. So let's see... We have a ladder over here... Do we have any other- okay, we have a locked door over here... Can't connect this entrance way to anything, so we have to use this key to open this door. That's interesting. Why would there be a key and then immediately a door where you need to use it? That seems kind of pointless to me. I don't know why that's there. Let's move this down here. So we can connect the ladders like that. I guess we'll want to jump up here and go over the saw, go through this door, and then where? Probably... Let's say... Let's say like this, maybe. This looks right. Let's connect these, connect these, connect these. And that should work. Let's try it. So yeah, that- that was pretty pointless right there. I don't know why we would ever... Why we would ever use that key anywhere else. Or how, anyway. Jump over the- the death. Stay below the death, jump over the death. Jump up here, get the key. Come down here, walk through this door, unlock this door, and we're done. Yep! Wait, look at that! Reflections! Ooh, reflections! Sorry, I'm so used to playing Portal 2 that when I see fancy graphical things, it- it- it freaks me out. <laughs> what are we- what are we dealing with here? Ooh! So this- this lever controls this crusher thing. Or whatever that is. Some sort of piston, I guess. And we have a room over here that... Oh, I guess that's where this leads to, is this over here. Yeah, because we can't- we can't drag this at all. Where's this light source? I guess it's up on the ceiling, I suppose. Okay, where do we want to go to start off with? Guess we need to go here first, right? But here's the thing. Didn't we learn earlier that... Rearranging things resets? Yeah. So... Does other stuff reset? Let's see. That does that. What if we do this? Oh yes, the entire puzzle resets if you rearrange stuff like that. How are we supposed to... Okay, so we obviously can't connect it like that. We have to connect this to another room instead. Let's see... We could connect... What is this thing? Let's find out what this does. Is this an elevator? Oh cool, it's an elevator that you can control! That's neat. Alright. Well, let's see here. Uh, 
Okay, so you, you can connect rooms without it resetting everything, but then if you disconnect rooms, it does reset everything. Alright, that makes sense. So what we'll want to do... What will we want to do? Because we have to hit this lever at some point. Okay, so obviously... Let's move these down here. We'll connect the ladders like this. Oop, come on. There we go. And we'll connect these here, and then this here. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Take the elevator up. Go up this ladder. Take this elevator up. Walk over here. Flip the lever. Go up again. And then walk down here. Cool. There we go. And now we're in this little transition area. Oh, light switch. I'm sure there's been dozens of light switches that I've missed already. That's cool, this, this, this camera transition lets us see stuff over... over here. Wow, this is... this camera is kinda a little weird. I'm <laughs> having trouble getting used to it. Oh wow, we came up up there, okay. Let's see, what are we working with here? We have... This is where we come in, this is where we start. We have two ways out of here. Interesting, so we could connect those up right away. But, from past experience, the initial layout of these panels has been deceptive. So this... what we could do is we could flip a lever, and then ride this up there, right? That's theoretically possible? Also... The fact that we can't overlap rooms... Only constrains us a little bit, because we- we can connect stuff pretty far away. So... Really, might control the shape of what we do a little bit, and the, the distance, but... Not in normal circumstances, I don't believe. So this is the exit. And we need to get into it by a ladder, so probably above this, right? Probably something like that. That's probably the last thing, right? Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. The ladders extend and retract based on whether they're connected or not. Did not even pick up on that detail before. Okay, so this is the locked door that we need the key for. So... Let's move these over here. We do this. And... this... And... all oh, those guys are unhappy. Whatever. Do this. How can we make this... work? I think we can do this, right? Connect these. Connect these. So as soon as we flip this level, we're gonna have to make a run up here... to go through that. Is there a better way? Because the, the length of this, we discovered, affects how much time we have, so what if we... What if we rearrange things slightly here? Will this even work? Oh, I could connect those anyway? What? They look like they're connected, but they're definitely not. Uh... Is this not something I can do? This is... this is... oh, there we go, now they're connected for sure. Yeah. There we go. Just had to get things in just the right positions. Uh... Now, can I drag this over here without it upsetting those? Looks like yes, I can. Oop. A little bit too close. Okay, that should... theoretically work. So we go get the key, we walk through here... We flip the lever and we use... Actually, we gotta unlock the door first, probably. Let's- let's just try this. Walk down here. Down here. Goes to this ladder. Up here, we use the key. There we go. And then... Oop. Didn't actually press it. Here we go. Oh no, that goes... 
Oh, it alternates! I was making this a whole lot more complicated than it needed to be. Alright. If it alternates, I could have solved this a long time ago. I thought... I thought that I would have to make a run for it and that it would raise slowly. <laughs> Should have tested that. That's a little transition room. Ooh! Springs. Alright. So we have springs now. Oh, is that the end of the demo? Oh, yep. Thank you for playing the pedestrian demo. Did I mention this was a demo at the start? I forgot to mention that this was a demo, didn't I? But yeah, I'll put it in the title of the video, as you've already noticed. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I am really looking forward to this game. I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!